What's up, everybody? First off, I want to say thank you to everybody that's kind of given me some advice. Um, in the I'm, I'm scared, please help video, uh, there's been people kind of giving me advice of kind of what this thing is that's attached to me or following me. Uh, you know, it has been for, well, my entire life. And kind of trying to tell me, you know, what I could possibly do and all that stuff to kind of cope with it and all that. I'm just happy that I know now that I'm not the only one that is dealing with something like this. I'm not the only one out there that has something attached to them like this. You know, it's nice knowing that. It's nice knowing that I'm not that I'm not alone. Uh As everybody see, uh, you know, can tell, I haven't been posting a lot lately. Um, I've had a lot of personal stuff going on. My fiance was in a car accident and completely totaled the car. And um, uh, you know, I, I've been worried about her because uh, she ended up getting a concussion. She. Uh, she shouldn't have walked away from the vehicle accident at all, but she did. So she virtually unscathed. Uh, I mean, yeah, she got a concussion and a whiplash and her arms a little bit messed up. Uh, it's still a little bit sore, but other than that, if, if you guys would actually see what the car looked like, you would understand why I'm grateful for the very little bit of injuries that she got and all that. So, yeah. And on top of that, I've been, my whatever illness, sickness I have started to come back again. And it was getting really really bad uh, like to the point where I, I was having asthma attacks just sitting in bed so I finally started my shots and I'm starting to do a lot better so you know fingers crossed that I'm going to be getting healthy again um, but with that being said, I am, like I said, going to be recording again. I'm probably going to be recording tonight because I was sitting here in the living room. I'm sorry, i am got my old phone and I'm listening to music, so don't copyright me because I'm listening to music on YouTube. <laughs> while making a YouTube video, so. If it's on YouTube, it's fair game. I can use it, so kiss my ass. Um, but, and I'm not making any money off my videos. Not yet. If something happens to where I do start making money off, off my videos, I won't put any music in there. Plain and simple. Or I'll try to get a hold of the person and be like, hey, can I, you know, I'm listening, I like your music. Anyways, but, uh, I was sitting in the kitchen, and out of nowhere, I hear a noise it, it, in the mirror room, literally right, the, right there, and, it, like, it sounded... You know, like it came from the mirror room, but it almost sounded like it was 
directly right next to me, which doesn't make any bit of sense. It was really, it, really weird. It was like loud, but it wasn't. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it it startled me. You know, it, it obviously startled me and kind of made me jump a little bit. And I, I looked in there and didn't see anything. Well, whenever I sat back down, I got a real strong smell of cologne. Like... I don't know if you guys, like any any guy out there is familiar with Stetson cologne. But that's, my grandfather wears that. Well, he used to wear it. He, I don't think he wears it anymore. But he used to buy me that cologne all the time for Christmas. Like whenever I was younger. And I mean... I haven't worn Stetson cologne in years. I haven't been around it in years. And I I don't know. There hasn't been anybody over my house. And right now with how bad my breathing problems are. I just heard a noise. How weird, you know, bad and weird my breathing problems are. I haven't been wearing uh, cologne at all because it'll send me into an attack. So where did the breathing or where did the smell of cologne come from? It's a little bit weird. It was very, very weird. Um, anyways, I got a new toy, <laughs> kind of. <clears throat> I finally got a battery for my light. That's cool. You can actually see that. This is a full spectrum flashlight. That's cool as shit. You can actually see that. Ah, uh, I actually have another flashlight. I'll actually go grab it and I'll switch batteries. Unfortunately, I only have one battery because it takes one of those uh, 18650 batteries. It's literally the size of it's it's like the length of two AA batteries put together, and it's about the width of like like a, a, about as big as round as like a, a quarter. Or something. Um, and it takes one of those. You cannot find them fucking anywhere. You literally have to order them offline. Hold on. I'm going to switch these. Switch the battery. Hold on. Okay. So. My. One flashlight is a full spectrum. This one. is a UV light. Check it out. It's UV. That's fucking cool as hell. It's bright as shit. Okay, this one I can actually see. The full spectrum one, obviously, you can't see with the naked eye. You have to, you know, use the... Uh, another camera or something. So... I bought those. Well, uh, I bought I actually the full spectrum camera. Sorry, the full spectrum camera or full spectrum flashlight actually came with my camera whenever I bought it. 
Obviously, it didn't come with a fucking battery because, you know, they're cheap as shit. You know, people are fucked up. But here's the, what the battery looks like. You know, it's, you know, it, it sucks, actually. That's probably the size of a dime. But, like I said, it's Ultra Fire, um, and uh, the number for the this battery that you need for both flashlights that I have is 18650. 18650. So, that's what it takes. Hopefully, I'm hoping to be able to find another one online. I found some online, but in order to buy them off of Amazon, you quite literally have to buy, like, it, they come in a two-pack with the charger. That would be nice, but I don't need two of them. I need one. And I don't need the charger. Actually, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind getting another charger. So scratch that. I, I might actually get another charger. I might say the hell with it. You know, I may say the hell with it and just go ahead and just buy the two more with the charger. I don't know. But, I mean, I could do that. Have two batteries ready to go and... You know, have a backup just in case. What you know while we're out because I do plan on. I do plan on. Since I'm beginning to feel better, I do plan on going exploring and at doing some actual ghost hunting very very soon. So, but anyways, guys, I will see you later. Uh, I'm going to charge my phone because I'm going to be using my phone uh, to record also. Actually, I'm going to use both of my phones to record. So I got to charge both of these. Um all that I actually have some videos that I didn't upload yet that I gotta I gotta upload from uh I don't know like three weeks ago about three weeks ago now uh, I just didn't upload them because, again, we've had a lot of crap going on. Actually, they're still on my camera. I never even put them on my computer because of everything that's been going on. So, but hopefully now everything is going to be smooth sailing at least for a while. Um, so I can actually... Go ahead and start doing everything that I, or continue doing everything that I was. I'm drinking Fago. Dude, I haven't had Fago since probably high school. I used to drink Fago all the time. No, hasn't been since high school. It, it's probably been since 2009. 2009, 2010-ish, roughly in and around that area. And I used to drink, fa oops, sorry, I used to drink Fago all the time. And then, because I was like into ICP and all that shit. So, yeah. Everybody goes through an ICP phase. Okay? Everybody. So, fuck off. I, I still like ICP every once in a while. I have to be in a really, really, really pissed off mood, though. But, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I 
I may actually make another video here in a little bit. Um, actually, before I record, you know, set up the camera and record and all that shit. Uh, I may actually do like a, almost like a scary story video. Maybe to try to tell you guys kind of like my experiences that I've had because I never actually got to tell you guys I never actually made a video talking about my very first paranormal experience and uh, you know my experiences on and on and on and on and on so yeah, I, I might make a video talking about that just because it's, uh, you know, I think it would be cool. So, anyways, like I said, I, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, if you guys, if anybody, again, is going through some crazy sickness that I am, or if you guys have any any paranormal shit going on or if you guys just need to talk if you guys just need somebody to talk to again guys please get a hold of me message me or comment on on a video or uh uh all of my uh, every way that you guys can get a hold of me is actually in my uh, about me on my YouTube, like, just go look at that, my Facebook's on there, my Twitter's on there, uh, my email is on there, you can, you guys can email me, and, you know, it, just, if you guys need anybody to talk to, uh, you know, trust me, I know, I know it's hard out there, I, I know suicidal thoughts is definitely a you know, that is definitely a sucky thing to think about, but with me being uh, how sick I am and how sick, you know, how sick I've been and for a while there, nothing was helping. Like, I started losing my faith, you know, I and I'm, I'm I mean, I'm not a giant religious guy. I don't go to church and all that stuff, but I do have holy water, I have anointing oil, I have a blessed cross I wear every day, I have blessed bead, uh, bracelet beads, um, you know, I have a, I have a, a, a blessed cra a glass cross sitting up here, you know, I, I do have, uh, you know, my, my faith, I'm, I grew up Christian, okay, you know, I, I have, a, you know, a little bit of faith in, you know, uh, I mean, obviously God, you know, God or Jesus or, you know, whatever, but I'm not the type of person that actually shoves that shit in people's face. Okay. Yeah. I believe in God, but I'm, uh, that's my belief. You know, you, you might have a different belief. Hell, you may, you may be an atheist. I grew up with a kid who was an atheist. He was one of my best friends. I wore a cross. He didn't. I didn't throw it in his face. He didn't throw it in mine. We, that was just how how it is. So, you know, uh, again, if anybody needs any help, you know, but please get a hold of me. Just just talk to me. I you know I, I'm a nice guy. I may come off like a dickhead sometimes, but uh, you know I'm really not. You know, I I will I have no problem sitting there and and. If, if it keeps, if I can keep somebody from blowing their head off or, you know, overdosing or anything, if I can keep people from doing that, by damn it, I will. So, because trust me again, I know, unfortunately, I know how it is to want to kill yourself or trying to kill yourself. So, um, 
yeah, been there, done that. So, anyways, guys, again, be good, be safe, don't be ugly, and just hug your family, guys. Hug your family, love your friends, love your neighbors. Well, no, don't love your neighbors. My neighbor's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go. Bye.